Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Let's talk about Polygon ID. Polygon ID is the first trustless implementation of verifiable credentials in Web3. Privacy and security is incredibly important right now. GDPR rules and non-GDPR compliance can be extremely problematic for not just individuals who have their information leaked, but also the penalties that firms can get if they don't adhere to privacy and GDPR policies. Now, GDPR and adhering to privacy policies protects us as users when we give our personal information. But is there a way we can do this in a more streamlined way? Well, yes, there is, thanks to Polygon ID. So Polygon ID uses zero knowledge technology. If you guys have heard about zero knowledge technology and ZK rollups, well, this is an implementation of it. And this will show you guys how powerful zero knowledge technology is for more streamlined, efficient, privacy controlled implementations of blockchain technology and the technology that Polygon has to offer. So Polygon ID allows users and dApps to build a secure and trusted relationship. And this follows the principles of self-sovereign identity and privacy by default. Does that sound too complicated? It's actually not. All you guys need to know is how you can apply it. So the application requires users to show their verifiable credentials or to generate zero knowledge proofs using these credentials. So for example, proof that you are a human without disclosing personal information. So the way you can apply this is imagine when you sign up to crypto exchanges, sometimes you need a KYC and I think KYCs are incredibly important, but then you might sign up to five different crypto exchanges and what submit five different KYCs, it can get long. Well, Polygon ID means that you can basically upload your proof that you are maybe older than 18 or whatever the credential that you need to upload is required. So Polygon ID actually fixes this problem where you don't need to provide KYCs to every different exchange. But of course that depends on if the exchange adopts Polygon ID and their zero knowledge technology. So you can create elaborated queries like proof that you are older than 18 and a citizen of UK using their unique ZK query language. So you would upload your credentials, they would be stored in Polygon ID, and that saves you time having to re-upload your ID card or whatever it is. So for example, even take a non-crypto related example. Say you're going to a bar and you forget your ID at home. Mm, happens to the best of us. And then you're stuck and all your friends are going inside because they remember their IDs and you didn't. Well, with Polygon ID, the bar owner or the people at the bar can check your age and your verification if you have uploaded your proof of credentials on that database. So they can actually access your credentials using the credential verification system and they wouldn't actually have to actually look at your ID card. Zero knowledge is a type of cryptography that has been tipped as one of the hottest trends for the digital asset industry. And I think Polygon is leading the way. So Polygon ID is the first identity solution that allows users to use zero knowledge proofs to interact with smart contracts. This is based on rich verifiable credential documents issued off chain. So it's also able to improve user experience. I mean, I don't wanna be stuck outside a bar if I've forgotten my ID card, if there is Polygon ID that can save the day. So take that KYC example I told you. So users can receive a KYC credential and then they can reuse that credential on each service that they sign up for. And these are verifiable credentials that are all usable. So basically Polygon ID allows you to have verifiable credentials that are usable, which saves you time. But remember, compliance is incredibly important with the increased regulatory pressures that we're seeing nowadays. So Polygon ID offers a solution to help with compliance use cases, and this uses their zero knowledge technology. Users can prove their identity without necessarily disclosing personal information to third parties. It can prevent GDPR scandals like we saw many years ago with Facebook. So Polygon ID enables trust issuers to connect with trust verifiers. So for example, individuals can receive and store claims in a personal wallet. So this could be details of their KYC check. So currently they have the Polygon ID wallet app and they also have the Polygon ID wallet SDK. And here you can see how it relates to all parties involved. Real world trust, so between the verifier, so the consumer of trust, and the issuer, so the source of trust. So say for example, you are going and doing a KYC check. 
So you are the issuer, you need to give your ID card. These are your credentials. Then using Polygon ID, the ZK proofs will verify the information to the verifier, the consumer of trust. And if you want to learn more, then you can see each different part, how the verifiers work, how the issuers work, and how it could work for developers if you are a developer and you want to start building on Polygon ID. So guys, I hope this information helped. I hope this summarizes Polygon ID and how it works. If I have made any mistakes or you see some discrepancies in how I explain things, please leave it down below in the comments because I'm always trying to improve my knowledge so that I can deliver more factual information for you guys. But I'm also learning as we see these developments in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video as a lot of the information is time sensitive. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.